hi so this is the export spreadsheet which i want to go through with you um now for the purpose of this video all the numbers here is generated by random function so the numbers are fake so it's okay to make this video um i just wanted to say the way you enter the dates is extremely important so this is the example that you have um, done and this is what i've done just to show you because dates is actually part of a formula you see and so if if you actually are um have it in like this okay so i'm just going to change the style of the um dates and you see that this is february this is september this is text text can you see now with mine if i actually change the style okay everything changes um that's because what i have done um the spreadsheet actually recognized as um, a date um, because all of these will be done. Don't for, um, don't look at these because the numbers will change because I've done a random um, function here. Yeah, um, this is how you should do dates. You do, you should do um, the date first, and then slash, and then. Um, the month enter this is a date it doesn't look like a date but if I actually go like this this is a date you see 2nd of March so if I actually want to space it for every seven days I'll do equal this one this cell okay C4 and then plus seven because I want to, to space it um every seven days and then drag down this is how i would do it and so this is actually space every seven days so you don't need so you need a one original date and then you can do a formula to copy it down or you could actually do two slash three enter now this is going to be this year by the way can you see this year and then you do nine slash three. So this is one week spacing. So what you do, you grab these two and you drag downwards. So this is another way of doing um, the dates. Um, and then you actually do the formatting. Can you see? But for here, because you typed it in one by one, this is not a date. So if you actually go like this, yeah, one is, yeah. <laughs> let's um, let's not talk about dates, even though it's very important. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so this is the original which I've kind of been given. Um, one tab here and then the transaction I call it a transaction um, and another tab here okay but this part I have to redo because I just don't understand what was going on from what I've what I understand the um, spreadsheet to be um, this last part is a combination of these two together so it's a, a sum of these two anyway um now i've done a tp cells which is um the trading period cells um here i've put down the trading period and then the date that the week that it starts well the date that it starts and then the end date because i would i would actually use this as part of formula to to seek the information that is why i spend time at the beginning talking about dates because all of these is actually done by looking at the <clears throat> the dates and extracting um the information within the two dates so if i were to do it on this column here i would never be successful because this is not dates that's the spreadsheet will recognize 
and so you have got um four week four week five week four week four week five week so if i actually do control and an add button you can see um hold on one moment just shortcuts show you control ads button will show you all formulas so this is what i've done this will be um four weeks so 27 days and then this one here will be the next day from this one and then another 27 days and then this is going to be one week more 34 days and that's how you do um trading period quickly with formulas you just drag it all down but anyway this is what i want to show you so um Okay, all of these are fake information. I just typed in the the number um, manually to fake it all out. So this is what I'll copy from your Google um, document. And then what I've done is I try and mimic your style here. So if you actually just do trading period one, okay, so this is actually going to go through the database here. The trading period and pull down pull out this this uh line here and then here is the same this trading period transactions yeah um i try to mimic what you have done and the style but here i just don't understand how you got the figures and also i think around here i i got a bit um stuck yeah because um like i was telling you I, I couldn't understand the information that i collected on the last part so i really had to um fill in that part so um what i've done is i literally copied out here the the title of uh of what you um got so that I could do alignment, the alignment of what columns to collect. So this is just um, something for me to align all the data. Yeah. But eventually, you should be able to go like this and say trading period free. And then here we will actually change automatically. And then if you actually need to write a report, hold on, or email, hold on. Right, so if you need to write a report, you choose what you need to, to write a report on. And you can see, look, trading period one, trading period one, trading period one, and all the data. And then you select this area here, control C to copy. Go to your Google Doc and Control V. Paste it as uh, as yeah. <sighs> I mean, this is the first time I've done it, but it seems that it, this is actually links to this is actually links to um. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done this before because I've never used Google Doc. Yeah. I'm sure we can actually do something with this one. If I actually just go like this and try again. Control C to copy. So I just merge this. Control C and then let's try again. Control v. Paste as unlink. Paste. Oh, that looks much better. If you don't like the line, what you could do, you could go to view. And then you don't want the guidelines. So if you want, when you actually copy this, control C to copy and then control V, uh, paste as a link. Yeah, so that actually looks very much like what you had originally. That's, it doesn't take you long, really. Thank you very much. Goodbye.